Break a hole. You. Charge them. And go. Come on, throw some Pilum. Yes. You guys. Cease fire and target those guys. Those guys are going to break through, no problem at all. You guys, break a hole. Get back in there. Right, they're broken through. Now we can catch them. Turning in our favor. What's this turning in our bloody favor? Orders. Melee infantry ready. <laughs> Love it when they do that. Legionary. Right, capture this perimeter and win the day. Who the hell are they? Warriors, you guys, swing round. Oh, those guys are getting mullered. Look at that. Look at that. Those guys are ripped apart. If they've already got enough ammunition. We captured it. That's good, we've won the day. Oh, actually. Right, infantry, regroup. Orders! Follow quickly now! Ready for battle? Proud Roman soldier! Here they come. Battle ready. Cav withdraw. Riders forward. Men reform. Well done, the infantry. Now. Forward. At the double. Ready for battle! We hunger for blood and battle! Romans, ready for duty! Ready and waiting! Sons of Mars! General! Victoria, lead us! Legion allies! Up at speed! Prepare the gate! Victory! That's it. Uh, broken. That's the day one. General. How many dudes left? About 13. Out of 30 versus 60. How awesome is that? Ah, my general ranked up. He's ranked up a fair amount, actually, since he, um... This is awesome. This is pretty awesome, actually. We've been able to completely annihilate our forces. That said, though, it was... Our enemy have lost a that is said, it's actually, it is quite... This battle was probably... 
I suppose the big battle that kind of turned the favour to us in the war was that one over about an hour, like a, about an hour ago, to be honest with you. Um, afterwards, the rest of this war was just cleaning up. You know, we'd annihilated their main army. Now we've broken their, then we broke their backs. Now we're, we're kicking them whilst they're down. The remainder of the enemy forces now, I'm just, I'm just whittling their numbers down now. Um, quite simply because um, it's it's pretty much a cakewalk. So I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. We're back, and there you go. There you go. In less than an hour, people, we did that. Fantastic. We've basically trampled... Trampled? That's a new word. Trampled. We have trampled our foe to the dust. I mean, actual dust. Right, destroy that. Um, yeah, dismantle that. Convert to a Roman village. But there you go. We have actually trampled our opponents to dust, which actually means that now... No, we can't leave it. Not yet. That said, though... Well, how big is this army? Quite big, so we probably have to defend... But yeah, so we have defend we have defeated the Devil Zone have certainly earned themselves a feisty reputation. I am going to disband these guys though. These horsemen have most certainly earned my respect, but we kinda need the cash. As well as these spearmen. I'll keep one spearman unit. Uh there you go. One spearman unit. Jeez. Oh, um, yeah, when's the tech, what technology do we need to research which allows us to keep mercenaries? <laughs> oh, it's that one, okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That was freaking amazing. That said, though, we, yeah, you know what, we did a fucking good job. Um, yeah, I am immensely proud of the Devil Zone. Ghoul Stomp has got a lot to live up to now. Um, Devil Zone have taken quite a stomping lead over the really Ghoul Stompers. Boys. Ghoul Stompers, I'm like, I built up to be this fantastic weirdly, you know, they are like, they are the Ghoul Stompers, the EGO-4, the big one. But then these guys just came up, herk a dirk to Burke, and completely annihilated the Ghouls. Fan-bloody-tastic. We've already, we've almost, almost landed, um, we're almost at the coast of Gaul. Well, technically, we're not even in Gaul anymore. We're kind of in modern day Austria slash Germany um, there's the Rhine oh that is the Rhine as well yeah it, okay before anyone kills me and says that's not the Rhine that might be the Rhine so Rhine potential Rhine sorry Rhine <laughs> Rhine so, potential Rhine which um, this might be so we're in Germany at the moment. Yeah, this is definitely we are def here we're in Germany. Here we're probably in France. This is definitely France. Here Germany. So we've punched us quite a big hole into the enemy lines here. I am very impressed. And of course, we've still got to defeat the remaining forces down here and more importantly down here. So what I will do is when there is peace and quiet over here, um, I'm going to transfer an army once Maria's all calm and kind of quiet. Um, we could potentially send someone up towards... If we can get up to five, that would be fantastic, really. Because then I can add more population growth. But yeah, we'll be transferring armies. We'll be able to afford an army, to be honest with you. So I could get a small garrison force here, which I might do, to be honest with you raise an army. We can uh, we can raise one, oh fuck's sake, one more. Right, where do we need it most? Um, here, really. Swaby. Are we in a defensive alliance with them? Uh, let's have a look. The Swaby really like us. We're not, what kind of treaties do we have? Uh, they're at war with the Averni as well. So if I select my... Yeah, so Swaby. How are we doing? Hang on. Yeah, Rome. What are they like? They approve of treaties with the Swaby. 
um, uh, action. So basically, we've defeated a lot with the Treveri, and they are very nice to us about that. We aren't very defen. I don't think we have a defensive alliance to them, but we are very friendly. Magna Germania. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, so Germania Minor we control. So, yeah, we don't actually control France yet. We actually control only this sector. Huh. That's impressive. Not many people like us, though. Well, screw them. <laughs> We're winning this fucking war. I'm a little bit concerned as to, like... Ooh, good. Goody, goody, good, good. Right, um, what do we need? We need food. As much as we can joke and laugh about anything, we actually need food. I might convert some settlements once I've got some dedicated food provinces. But at the moment, food is the most important thing at the moment. Uh, yeah, we, at the moment, food. It is just food. Because we're losing food over here, and once we've demolished that stuff. So, let us save. And do Rome, and then do Rome backup save. Don't know what the time is. Probably, we're probably coming up to close to an hour, or we've already gone over an hour, but not by much. So, yeah. So, saved that. Zah. Right, so, next turn. And now, we wait. We'll need to attack and destroy the Frissy, though. Um... Yeah, we'll have to attack and destroy the Frissy. I don't know whether they're in an alliance with the Swavy, so I will have to be careful. And we still got a war to win with the Averni, but weirdly enough, this big fight that I thought would occur are actually it's kind of puffed out a bit. <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit like ah oh, shit sort of thing. But, that said, we did a very good job. I think the Averni are actually holding on to their position, which is a bit interesting. My general down there. Was that? It was a historical battle there as well. Nice. Wouldn't it be cool if you could have some kind of... Oh, hello. My people are proud, as are yours. But pride does not stop a man having friends. I don't want to have... Well, that's a non-aggression pact. I have to pay for it for some reason. But I'm thinking about it. It's not a bad idea because I don't want any fucker to punch a hole into my region until I say so. So a non-aggression pact is something better. I have to pay for it, which is absolutely bollocks, but if they're not going to attack, then... And if they do attack... Hello, what's this? We have fine goods, no. and you doubtless have... <laughs> Sorry. You're my new targets. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll send gore stompers on them. <laughs> they have to earn glory now. Jeez. I love it when that happens. It's This is one of the things about Rome that I love the most. most Shut up. You. Um, like I said, this is one of the things I love about Rome. Or Total War Games, to be exact, is you create a force of people who you think they're the defenders, or they're the second line, or someone you don't even think's gonna do anything, and then all of a sudden they turn out to be the shining glory that um, your first army really wanted to have. Uh, trying to poison wells. Okay. Oh my God! Get, well, no shit. <laughs> Oh, wrong one. Uh, for a second there, I thought it was all right. Okay, troubled populace. Right. Yes. 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 We will need them. Quartermarkers report. Good. Uh, don't know why we have to go over there. Zzzzum. Right. Then Sinto got stuff. Right. Cool. Oh, can we only have one? Oh. Okay. I did not know that. Uh, bu -bu -bu it's plus six to public return, which is impressive. But what I might do is I might dedicate it to a library. Right, you are... Right, encouraged population. Huzzah, what is this? Yes, finally! Oh, finally, Jesus Christ. Right, I think here will probably be a good place to set up some kind of people. Who is subverting? That wench. Right, okay. They are starting to piss me off a bit. 
You are going to die now. Bye bye. Oh, hello. How did you kill fucking wound? Idiot. Right, you're going this way. You want something right, get a bloody better agent. Oh, how many edicts can I... Ah, oh, fine, only two. Okay, I can take a hint. Right, they're doing quite well. 3801. Jeez. Um, I think setting up an army over here, because we've got a good occupying force at least. Faith and glory. I'm going to set up another army. Uh, he looks the most impressive. And you will be generalized. You, on the other hand, I'm going to send you on a march all the way towards Korea. Oh! Huh! Send you over to Vincinto. You, on the other hand, I'm going to disband that now. How are you guys doing? You're not too happy, are you? If I send you on a forced march, what does that do? Okay, he's they're they're okay for the moment. Ready for battle. God damn it! Well, he's going to arrive at least. Nuria actually is all right. We could actually we could possibly send him off. We'll we'll leave him with couple of levies. <laughs> Evidently that Pavatium is only over there, but still I guess we'll have to be in Ready for orders. Ready for battle. These guys are gonna be a pain in the ass. Can I attack them? Commander. I'd have to go out to the ocean, of which I won't do. There's one of their Gorlic forces. At the moment there's only one army. Well one dude. We'll need to send one force um, from these locations, of which I'm sus I reckon these guys will probably be good. Because all I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy to um, don't know why he's wounded, um, unless he was suffering from like attrition or whatever. Um, what I'll do is I'll get him to have a couple of decent, re relatively decent dudes. Send him back up to Vencinto, of which I will send these guys. Um, span that at least. I'll send these guys back down to Medlihan, and then I'll send them over to guard Bib... Actually, yeah... Well, no, we'll guard Vincenoto, Vincenoto over there, and then I'll send these guys to guard that, whilst whilst the Gaul Stompers move up north to attack this position here. Or, what probably makes a little bit more sense, if I sent these guys down south to attack Nemosa. Ooh, fancy pantsy. Oh, shit. We need some food. Right, we've got... Oh, shit, yeah, no food surplus, do we? Fuckers! Right. Can we build some fucking food? Oh, yes. Good. Yes, one turn and we'll have that. Fantastic. Right, and that actually is going to be that on this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, feel free to let me know by typing in the comment section down below, clicking on the like button, and of course subscribing to the channel. Um, we've done a fucking ton of stuff, and I am so happy. Ah, oh, freaking love it. Um, we've just basically annihilated an, an enemy faction within an hour. So, um, next episode we'll be focusing down south to defend to def ugh, defend. Just destroy the last remaining Gorlic scum that are the Averni. And then afterwards, um, probably the recovery phase. And then after that, um, yeah, and after that, we'll sh we shall then further our cause by destroying, by getting ready for their, the last part of the, I wouldn't say the last part of the campaign, but definitely we're on the closing stages now of the campaign. There is some Swaby Navy. That sounds really cool, Swaby Navy. Um, so we're going to be going... Uh, sorry. <laughs> that name. Anyway, so we'll be going for the Frizzy, the Mentaconia, and the Cenobum, and, uh, you know, Pictonis. Not really sure what we'll do about these guys. Deboni. We'll have to go to war with these guys because... 
although they're at war over in Cornwall, they're also fighting. They're also on French land, so they will have to be go going. And then I suppose the last battle for France will probably take place here. Um, this looks like quite a nice capital to attack. So Gaul Stompers or Devil Zone will go there. Don't know who, but that'll probably be the last place I'll go to. That'll be a good way to finish the campaign, actually. So we've still got a bit to go. Um, but at the same time, we are hopefully now going to be in position to wage the last few battles. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Crap Hunter signing out. See you next time.